So the rule to keep in mind for this particular question is if you're dividing and you have the same base, and in this case the base is 2, you can subtract your exponent. So let me rewrite that. So it'll be 2 to the 6 divided by 2 to the 9th. It's the same thing as 2 to the 6th minus 9, because all I've done is subtracted my exponents, which makes it 2 to the negative third. Now, if I have a negative exponent, I can rewrite that as a positive in the denominator. So that is the same thing as 1 over 2 cubed. And 2 cubed is the same thing as 8. So that makes it 1 over 8. That's my final answer. Now, check, check something else out too. For some reason, you blank out on the test and you just don't remember your rules. Think about it logically. Think about what's happening. 2 to the 6th is, I'm going to write, write this all out. It might be annoying, but watch out. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So that's how many 2's there are at the top. And at the bottom, I have 9 2's. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Right? That's what 2 to the 9th is. Now, that 2 and that 2 cancels out. That cancels out. That cancels out. Boom, boom. That's gone. So at the top, I'm left with, because 2 divided by 2 is 1. So at the top, I'm just left with 1. And the bottom, I'm left at 2 times 2 times 2, which is 8. 1 over 8. So for some reason on the test, you blank out on your rules. Try expanding it. Try expanding it and see what's happening.